Hello YouTube. In this video, I'll be showing you my start to finish curly hair routine. I'm actually going to be starting from a three week old silk press and then transforming my hair back to its natural curly state. So if you are interested in seeing how I get super defined moisturized curls, then just keep on watching. So first we're going to start off with my hair being straight y'all my hair has been like this for three weeks and it is absolutely gross it is full of oil and full of edge control so you're going to see me just wetting my hair and normally if i've had my hair straight for this long it is full of product so it takes it a while to revert back but you will see my curls starting to come through after my hair is fully saturated with water I did want to mention that when I wash my hair, I use lukewarm water and that's because my hair is high porosity and I did hear that hot water can actually damage my hair. So I use lukewarm water. So once my hair gets saturated with water, I grab my shampoo, which is the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine. And y'all, I swear by this product, y'all, it is cheap and it smells good and it gets all this buildup out of my hair. I do have to use a pretty good amount of it to get the lather that I want just because my hair is so thick. But you'll see me working this into my hair. You'll also see me adding more water to my hair just so I can get more suds because... I love a shampoo with so much lather. Like I just feel like my hair is so clean. The more soapy it is, the more clean it is. You'll see me rubbing my scalp to get all that dirt up because y'all my hair was absolutely disgusting. So during this time, I just keep trying to work the shampoo through my hair and I keep paying close attention to my scalp because I do have little areas that just kind of itch a little more than others. So I try to pay close attention to that and do a scalp massage. So once I finish the scalp massage, I do work the shampoo into my ends just to make sure that all of my hair is clean. You'll see me now rinsing the shampoo off as I prepare to condition my hair. So it usually takes about two to three rinses to get all the shampoo out of my hair. And once all the shampoo is out, I grab my conditioner. I use the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Conditioner. And y'all, I love this conditioner. It smells great, but it also gives me a lot of slip. I work that conditioner through and once I feel like my hair has a lot of product, I start the detangling process with my bent brush. I am gonna link all of the products below in case any of y'all want to purchase them. But yes, this is my favorite conditioner. So when I start detangling, I start from the bottom of my hair and I work my way up. And for some reason, I just love how smooth and sleek my hair feels with this conditioner in. I don't know, it's kind of oddly satisfying to detangle my hair with this product in, but I detangle my hair in the shower and I just kind of work my way from the bottom up and I do both sides of my hair until I feel like my hair is fully detangled. You will notice as I'm using this vent brush how easy it just slides through my hair and how, I don't know how bouncy my curls are. And y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a quick texture shot because I don't know, I just for some reason loved watching this detangling process on this video. But anyways, once I feel that my hair is fully detangled, I actually wash the conditioner out. And once it's out, I actually still go through my hair with my fingers just to make sure I got everything detangled. And y'all just look at those curls. I don't know, they just look so beautiful and hydrated. So next I'm gonna take my deep conditioner. It's actually Olive Cholesterol. And y'all, I love this product. Now this product doesn't give a lot of slip, 
but it definitely puts so much moisture in my hair. This is one of the creams that I actually incorporated once I found out that my hair was high porosity to lock in the moisture. Now this product is on the thicker side, but I love it because it is cheap and it just makes my curls feel so luxurious and so moisturized. Now this product doesn't have the best smell, but it definitely does what it's supposed to do. So yes, once I put this cream in my hair, I go back through and detangle it again just so I can work that product through. And I actually leave this product in for about 20 minutes. So in a minute, you'll actually see me put my hair like in a rubber band. So normally what I'll do is I'll work the product through with the vent brush and I'll put it, my hair in a rubber band. And then I'll actually finish taking my shower or, or do whatever I need to do. And then I will go back and then rinse that conditioner out. So after 20 minutes, I go ahead and take my hair down to rinse it. I do make sure that I'm using cool water with this, and that is just to lock the moisture in and help my cuticles close because my hair is high porosity, and I wanna make sure that I keep all of this moisture in my hair. And I know that's not the most comfortable thing to do. You actually can see it on my face, but yeah, it actually works to keep my curls super hydrated. So this is how my hair looks once all the product is washed out. Next, I'm gonna show y'all what I do for styling purposes after I'm out the shower. So once I'm out the shower, I don't like towel dry my hair or anything, but I use a oil to kind of seal in all that moisture. Y'all, I want all the moisture to stay in my hair so my curls are super duper hydrated. But you'll see me rubbing the olive oil throughout my hair and on my scalp to lock in that moisture. And then next, I'm gonna use the As I Am Tea Tree Oil to put that on my scalp. Once I get that through, I'm gonna massage that in. For styling, I'm gonna use the Eco Style Olive Oil Gel and the Curling Jelly from As I Am. And y'all, I love the consistency of the curling jelly. It just gives a lot of slip. I go ahead and put that throughout my hair in sections. So I use the curling jelly first, and then I follow up behind the curling jelly with the Eco Styler Gel. And I do that because the Eco Styler Gel to me gives more hold and it also adds a lot of shine to my hair. So you'll see me working that product through my hair and you'll see how defined my curls are becoming with that product. So here I'm just gonna show y'all a quick texture shot of how defined and shiny my curls are. So I actually finished working that product through and once I am done working that product through the strands of my hair, I go back and add more gel to the front of my hair just to lay them edges down, honey, because for some reason, my hair be doing the most in the front. So this is how my hair is looking once all the product is through my hair and it's still kind of wet. So to dry my hair, I use my diffuser. I put it on the cool air setting and do the speed on high for the air to dry my hair. This normally takes about a good 20 minutes. And once I am done, y'all, my hair be looking luxurious. So here is how my hair looks once it is finished. Um, my hair actually will begin to swell probably in the next couple of hours when I go outside. But this is how it looks immediately after diffusing with my defined curls. Let me know down in the comment section if y'all have ever used any of these products and what you thought about them. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in my next video.